What is up everybody? Jayco here today in bed. About to fall asleep. I want to talk about the weirdest thing that happened today. Like when I mean weird, I mean one of the weirdest things that happened in my life. Um so as you guys you know read by the title that the um this the neighbor like went insane. And so I was my mother and my ex-wife visited me today and my girlfriend, I guess you can say girlfriend, went to her apartment to pick up her things to bring here. Um, she won't be back till tomorrow. And I'm outside and I'm talking with my ex and my mother, and I have Bila on a leash. I'm just talking to them. So the neighbor across the street, who there's a kid over there that as far as I know, and you know, he likes to skateboard, he likes to ride his dirt bike and all that stuff. Never really had a problem with it. I just noticed that he's outside a lot. So I never said anything, never talked to him before, never talked to the parents, nothing like that whatsoever. So we're outside this, I'm going to say child because I'm sure he's under the age of 18, decided to open up the window and start using this um, fake voice. And I'm going to say kind of like a black gentleman, but in a, in a ghetto way. I don't want to be racist anyway. I just want to say it like that. Um, so he's like, you fucking asshole N-word. Um, I'm going to kick your ass, be here tomorrow, this time, and I'm going to fight you. Um, I'm trying to recall everything he said, but it, you know, it was like five hours ago, so it's hard for me to remember exactly. It's probably closer to seven hours ago. Um, and then pretty much said a bunch of derogatory statements and then slammed the window and my ex, my mom, we we were just all confused like they're like who is this i don't even know who this is and they i was like what the heck i was like hold hold the dog hold the leash i'm gonna go knock on the door and and see what's going on like that's rude that's disrespectful like who and they're like oh no he's not talking to you he's probably fighting with a friend or something i was like this guy just opened up a window and screamed i mean it was it was almost dark out so it was hard to see anything but it's just person just opened up a window and started screaming out derogatory statements out of a window. So I was like, hold the dog. And they're like, no, no, don't go over there. Um, they're probably talking to my friend. I was like, I really doubt that, but I'll, you know, I'll let it go. And then off to the side of the house, from like the back of the house area, the guy started saying something again. He said like a sentence of derogatory comments. And I was like, dude, like, who are you talking to? And it just went silent. So we then went inside for like 20, 30 minutes. We went to dinner. We come back. We, we went to dinner and we went to Walmart. We come back. And this person walks out of that house the same time we got home. And I said, I said, excuse me, are you the person who was screaming out the windowsill? And he's like, yeah, that was me. And I was like, why did you feel that was necessary? Because you called the cops on me. And I said, I didn't call the cops on you. Yeah, you did. You called the cops on me. I said, why would I call the cops on you? I don't know you. I never met you before. I never seen you before. And what gives you the right to scream out a window derogatory comments to me? He's like, why don't you just mind your business then? I said, you want me to mind my business, but you're the one screaming out of a window towards me with derogatory comments. I said, you should really respect your elders. And I don't know what's going on in your head, but I didn't call the cops on you. I said, there's a cop that lives right next to me. There's a cop that lives over there. I did not call the cops on you. I don't have a reason to call the cops on you. And my ex and my mom were like, oh, it must be a misunderstanding. But I was like, no, don't, don't, don't like make him feel like he did nothing wrong. This kid's like being very rude. And after that, he just walks back into, he was out towards the driveway and he just walks briefly I don't know if he was high. I don't know if he was on drugs. Like, I'm not scared of a, of a child. I'm more scared of 
if this person is capable of doing something to my home, to my vehicles, or to most importantly, my animals. So it's just so crazy that this happened. Um, I don't know if I want to go ahead and talk to the parents next time I see them outside, or just when I see this child outside again, have a conversation with him. But I, seeing this person, if it's the same person, I can't tell you it's 100% the same person, but they live in the same house. So I think it is. This person, I just saw calmly do their own thing, skateboard, ride their bike, um, event, occasionally ride their dirt bike. Like I never had a problem with this. I never thought they were like this. And this person sounded like an adult 22 year old ghetto male and in the mid twenties, ghetto male screaming out that window. And then when I spoke to this person about 30 feet from me, they were like stoned or on drugs. It was, it was insane. So I'm not sure how I want to go about this. I just want to tell this story because it is one of the weirdest things that ever happened to me. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for all things Jake Orion. If you want to keep my channel uh, Jake Orion friendly, be sure to check out my Patreon, www.patreon.com slash Jake Orion, where pledges start at just a dollar to help keep my channel alive. I'm Jake, guys. Thank you so much. Be sure to like, and I'll see you guys in the comment section below. Take care.